Hello friends, welcome to my channel Botanical Studies. In this video, we will discuss about salient features of ICBN, that is International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. The discussion will go through following point. Principles of ICBN, Rules and Recommendations of ICBN, Provision of the Code. Let us discuss the salient features of ICBN. The rules for naming of the plants are framed by International Botanical Congress, that is IBC. These rules together forms International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. Names varied from region to region and among different languages, there are some problems with common naming includes, that is one plant having many common names, many different plants having the same common names. Example, creeping jenny can apply to 15 different plants. Common names can be confusing. For example, poison oak is not an oak. Poison ivy is not an ivy. Canna lily is not a lily. Pineapple is not an apple, etc. So, identification of plants with their scientific names is very important because scientists worldwide rely on accurate information about organisms. Buyers require correct ordering information to guarantee they receive the correct plant species. Principles of ICBN Botanical nomenclature is independent of zoological nomenclature. The nomenclature of taxonomic group and its application is determined by means of nomenclature type that is type method. There are different terms used in the type method. Holotype it is the specimen used by the author as a nomenclature type. Lectotype. It is the specimen selected as substitute for holotype. Neotype. It is the specimen selected when the material on which the taxon was based is lost or missing. Paratype. It is the specimen cited with original description other than holotype. Isotype. It is the specimen which is duplicate of holotype. Syntype, it is the specimen used by the author when no holotype was designated. The nomenclature of the taxonomic group is based upon priority of publication. Scientific names of the plants are treated as Latin. The rules of nomenclature are retrospective unless expressly limited. Rules and recommendations of ICBN. All those plants which belongs to one genus must be designed by the same generic name. The person who established new genus should give it a name. Generic name which indicate essential characters or appearance of the plant are the best names. Generic names which are very long or unpleasant and difficult to pronounce must be avoided. The specific name must be distinguish a plant from all its relatives. The size does not distinguish the species. The original place of the plant do not give specific difference. The generic name must be applied to each species. The specific name should always follow the generic name. The word taxon has been introduced to signify taxonomic group of any rank. The rank of the species is basic, single or group of species make a genus. The ascending order of a taxa is species, genus, family, order, class and division. All generic names must begin with capital letter while the specific alphabet should invariably begin with the small letter and it should agree with the gender of the generic name. The specific name should be always be in italic when printed and the underline when written by hands. The names of the family is plural objective used in the substitute and it is formed by adding the suffix A-C-E-A-E to the stem of the legitimate name of the included genus. For example, genus Malvesi from Malwa, Rosesi from the genus Rosa. Each taxonomic group with a particular position and rank can be only one correct name. Publication is affected only by distribution of printed matter to the botanical institutions, library, etc. That is, publication in local newspaper, cyclostyle matter, etc. 
are not effective. The name of the taxon must be accomplished by Latin diagnosis. Name of the name of the taxon should be made accurate and complete. It is necessary to cite the name of the author who first validly published the name concerned. For example, he discussed L. L for Linnaeus. The name must not be rejected merely because it is inappropriate or disagreeable. Superfluous name that is when the same name is already existing it is to be rejected. Homonym that is same name given to the another taxon it is to be rejected. If the name is not in according with the rules of botanical nomenclature it is to be rejected. If the specific name repeats exactly the generic name that is tautonym it is to be rejected. Provision of the code. The proposal to change the code are published in Texon, but all remain proposals until they are voted on at the next international botanical nomenclature. Any change in the code should be planned or designed to increase the stability of the plant nomenclature. The every plant should maintain taxonomic hierarchy, that is the correct sequence of classification, division, class, order, family, genus, species. The Latin form of the name can be accepted as a scientific name. The family names must be formed by combining a generic name with suffix A-C-E-A. -E. But there are eight exceptional names used without suffix C-E-A. -E. For example, Gramini Poesi, Gutiferi Clusiasi, Pluri Arecasi, Ambeliferi Apiasi, Cruciferi Brassicasi, Labiati Lamiasi. Leguminosi, Fabesi, Compositi, Asteraci. So this is all about ICB.